Uh, you got a box of papers with it? Yeah, yeah, cool. Bring it all in with you, and then I'll, I'll give you a price on that, and then I'll find uh, the day date, and then uh, well, I'll let you know how much on top you have to put on. Either me or Jake, my colleague who's in the back, we'll have a little look through, and we can give you a price and go from there. Yeah, cool. You're welcome. Yeah, I don't think he's. I don't think, I don't think he needs to come back. <coughs> so, the gentleman just come in, <coughs> bought this 2.9mm 24 inch yellow gold rope. He also wanted this sleek Franco bracelet, one of our new ones. And he also bought his little boy one of these sleek mini cubits that we've had specially made for kids all the way up to mum and dad. So he's got a sub uh, that he's gonna bring in in the next couple of days when he's got a bit of spare time. He wants to cash that in and go, he wants an upgrade for a day date. So let's see if we can get that deal sorted and done. Sweet, who's really kind of bright? Just a bit random, is that something in hand? yeah. And he went, right, come on then, he's walked out. I've got a feeling he's not coming back. Well, as you've just seen there, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Boxing them up for him and he just turned around and walked out. So, there you go, South fell flat. Right, so it's January, so typically it's a quiet month in the jewellery industry, but what does pick up is repairs, mainly because a lot of people come in December, because we're busy, we say, look, we can't take it on at the moment. So then like the first week of January, quite a lot of repairs come in. So we've got each one of these is a repair that's come in in the last week. Some go to our workshop, some go to external workshops, some obviously go to the watchmakers, because we obviously do the watches as well. So now just going through the list, calling up the workshop or the relevant workshop, getting quotes, phoning the customers, getting them to approve it, and then calling back the workshop afterwards and then just telling them what ones have been approved, etc. Yeah, quite busy at the minute with repairs. These are just a few. I've still got another pile over there. So uh, just going through them now, we've had three more come in today. So uh, they'll get down to the workshop in the morning and then in a couple of days then we'll get estimates and we just keep doing this every few days. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just gonna go through, check some of the ones that have come back. So this one was a bracelet that we sold a customer, so it wasn't essentially a repair, but it went to the workshop because the bracelet was eight inches and the customer wanted it to six and a half, so that's been shortened. We'll get this box up ready to ship out to the customer. Yep, all looks good. Box that up, get that ready to ship out. All of our stuff is shipped Royal Mail, special next day delivery guaranteed by one. We got the labels ahead of time so we can pre-label them so we give the people a tracking number straight after they order and their, their uh, orders all shipped, packaged up, then uh, we'll ship it up. That is good to go out to the customer. Free next day delivery on all orders over £150. So one down. So this is the packet that comes back from the workshop i find the corresponding yellow packet so everything that leaves the shop will have a yellow packet so there we go this one was a sale on the gram and then obviously it's just got paid in full written on it because guys paid in full we're not going to alter no jewelry without payment first so all good very good very nice everything goes out in our lightweight trotters boxes for bracelets We've done these, they're nice, they've got the logo, this double door, soft end, soft padding on the inside. They're nice, they're lightweight, keeps uh, shipping costs down. Obviously some of the other boxes, metal springs and hinges, stuff like that. Wax the cost of shipping up. You have to think about all these things because of the volume of shipping that we do. Obviously if you add a couple of quid to every one, that adds up a lot over the year. Turn it down for what? What's going on people, we're down the garden today, uh, going around to a few of our contacts, see if they've got stuff ready for us. Hello mate, it's Eddie from Trotters. <laughs> What's happening mate? Yeah, I thought so. All right, sweet. All right, bud, see you soon. Sweet mate, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Jake, 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 Jake. <laughs> What's going on people? Everyone's been asking us to get these back in stock, these lovely little baby bangles. They've got nursery rams on them and they're adjustable and they're really affordable. These are back in stock, so hit us up. Right, so now we're on our way to another one of our um, contacts. Um, we took a fence link set in there that needed to be fixed up. Um, yeah, we're gonna go and see if it's ready and get back to our customer. How you doing, mate? Right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good, thanks, bud. Set and chain. And lasered. 
so dropped off this rope chain that someone's snapped um, and uh, yeah he's saying he doesn't know if he can be repaired so we'll take him out to someone else and see if they can get it done for us we'll try as we'll get it done Jake um, yeah so that yellow gold fancy link um, will be done tomorrow I'm not winding you up mate he's saying it ain't done he, he said he's uh, he said he's only just got back to work today oh sorry so that's it for today down the garden I'm going to make my way back up to the shop and get some sales in the rose one's here but as I said I haven't got them in there but I've got 22 hot spinach here pile up we can cut it down what's that 22? one of the yeah 22 no that might be a 20 there ah uh, you know what we'll just stick with the Cuban did you get a price back on how much it will be to dip? Uh, to dip it it'll be 100 quid 100 quid? Mm. so I can do 450 on this one uh, on the rose gold dipping, it might be a little bit more. I uh, just spoke to my colleague at the back, so uh, I'll have to get you a quote again. I'll have to ring him up. And then, what with the rope? With the rope, you said you've got 22 inch, so what could you make a bracelet out of it as well? No, you'd have to go a bit bigger to do that. Um, it'd be too small, otherwise, it'd grow out of it really quick. So what? I would say go for 24 inch yeah. cut. Say, I'll have to measure up his wrist, really. Yeah, you'll have to cut out, say, six inches is this hollow or is this solid? no that's solid. solid yeah so you'll have to cut out six inches so you'll have say like an 18 inch chain then yeah. and then the rest in the bracelet so you're getting the whole set for the same price as one break necklace basically and you can do this with four yeah yeah and some of them are a little bit heavy yeah uh, it all goes off weight in there so some of them are a little bit heavier than others yeah. oh, Hello. So you're basically doing it for 45 pounds pretty much yeah most of our jewelry is is that the one you're going to get dipped rose gold yeah, um, as I say, it'd be around about 100. I'll have to just send it down and get a quote, and then uh, I'll let you know before we go ahead. But uh, when do you need it for? Saturday. Yeah, we can get that done. Of course, we're trying. In regards to the dip, yeah. Yeah. Is that the it's still a one isn't it? Yeah, uh, I think it might, I was just told my manager, I said it's still a one yeah, and he suggested it down. It's, uh, it's um, rose gold dipping, it's gone up a little bit, so I have to go down and ask him. And then I'll give you, I'll let him know before. Yeah, that's right, we can turn it around in a day or two, isn't it? Oh, right. Yeah. That's in there for you, mate. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so you might have seen previously that fella come in and walked out halfway for a deal. This one actually got sold to so Happy Days. He was up for 4 dollars we've done it for $4.50. He's a returning customer, he's a good lad. Um, he went for an 18 inch yellow gold sleek Cuban that we've had specially made for kids all the way up to women. We've got matching bracelets as well, they're one of our best sellers for kids at the moment. How's it going everyone? Happy New Year, it's 2024. As one door closes being Christmas, another one opens, we're now looking towards Valentine's. We don't spend too much time and resource on Valentine's because it's nowhere near as popular as it once was in the jewellery industry. I think a lot of people just do box of chocolate, it's a nice dinner and a card or something now, but we still do get maybe a little upturn. So what I've got today is, last week, just after the new year, I met up with one of my suppliers at a part of the bits. I went through and picked out a few nice bits that I feel could maybe be well for Valentine's Day. So let me run you through them. They are all in 14 karat gold. Got these lovely pear-shaped pendants. They come on a fixed 16 inch chain. About a third of a carat of diamonds in them. They're quite nice, clean, lively. I've got them in yellow and white. They're gonna be around the 1200 pound mark each, 11.95, something like that. Next up, I've got these five hearts, three of which got diamonds on, the two in the middle are plain yellow gold. Uh, I've only got a couple of these, just in yellow. Nice pieces, these are 995 around that, I believe. Very nice, again, come on a fixed chain. Lovely little Valentine's present. You not cheap, but you're not going to be breaking the bank either. Also got this lovely white gold diamond. It's like a hexagon shape, follows itself round. It's nice, full of baguette stones. Nice piece, I only got one of these, so if you really like it, you better be quick. So basically a supplier of mine had a part of the bits that he bought in, uh, gave me first crack at it. So these are a few of the nicer bits I pulled out, thought we could do quite well with. This one's very nice, it's, for me it's got like a, Van Cleef Asprey sort of vibe to it. 
It's three flowers, it's got baguettes and rands in it as well. It has a total of 1.2 carat. Very, very nice, lively stones. And like I said, it's got like a Van Cleefy sort of Asprey vibe to me. That flower thing, I think it's definitely coming back in the jewelry industry at the minute. Like the Alhambra range for Van Cleef is massive. Uh, so yeah, I think these would be quite popular. I have these in yellow and white. So just four nice little different pendants there. Like I said, some I've got in just the one color, some I've got in multiple. If you're interested in any of them, drop me or the team a message here. I'm glad to help. We obviously have our normal stock, what we've had in already beforehand. So if you're looking for maybe a nice diamond pendant or something for the missus, for Valentine's or a birthday even, drop us a message.